Hey guys, what's up? It's Finch here, and today we're going to be discussing something kind of important, kind of- Not just kidding, we're discussing something really freaking important. Listen the hell up right now. We got the Pokemon that are going to be OU, the Pokemon that are going to be Uber for the start of the DLC 2 Crown Tundra metagame. That's right, I'm pumped. You guys got to be pumped. A lot of exciting stuff coming up right now. It's not even public yet. When I post this, it will be when it goes public, but I just wrote up this post. The council conducted a vote that I, I ran earlier this week, and here's what's happening. We voted on Demanitan Galar. We voted on Dracovish. We voted on Kieran Black. We voted on Melmetal. We voted on Magirna. Cinderace is some Pokemon that were currently Uber that we could be seeing in OU. Depends, depends, depends. We also voted on Dynamax and Gantamax, although it was kind of obvious unanimously. Uber, Shadow Attack, Arena Trap, and Moody as well. And then some new Pokemon we also voted on. Pheromosa, Naganadel, Blaziken, Zygarde, Landorus Eye, and Genesect, or Genesect. I don't know how the hell you pronounce it, but I don't care. I'm too damn excited for pronunciation, guys. Let's go. So I'm not gonna leave you in suspense. I'm not one of those. This is a brief video. You guys just wanna know what the hell's going on. And all I wanna do is tell you guys everything that's happening. So we're gonna be freeing Kieran Black, Melmetal, and Cinderace. They're all gonna be dropping from Ubers to OU for the start of the DLC 2 Crown Tundra metagame. In addition, Pheromosa, Nagan Adele, Blaziken, Zygarde, Landorus Eye, and Genesect will all start in OU. In addition to that, um, of course, Power Construct or Zygarde Complete, also known as Big Boss, will remain banned from OU. It was one of the most ridiculous Pokemon in Uber's gener last generation, let alone OU when it was free in OU. It lasted for all of a day. So I, I think that gives enough perspective there. But um, we also discussed a ton of other Pokemon, like, for example, Tapu Lele, Tapu Koko, Tornado Sterian, Kartana, you know. Um, all them, all those Pokemon that are going to be OU from last generation, that they're all going to start OU ultimately. We just, we didn't feel confident enough to, you know, say anything. Oh, yeah, Tapu Lele hits really hard, but it was still an OU Pokemon last generation, and we don't really know what we're dealing with quite yet, so we'd rather wait and see. In addition, those Pokemon that are um, completely unknown, like the Galarian Birds and the uh, the Grass Psychic thing, I think it's, it is, or whatever it might have you, um, they're all going to start in OU. I don't think any will be broken, honestly, but I've been wrong many times before, so we'll have to wait and see. And finally, we also discussed some other things like Zamzenta or Zamzienta. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, if you could let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious if I've always pronounced that Pokemon wrong. Um, but ultimately, we were like, no, nah, I don't think that it's worth um, worth voting on, so we didn't vote on that. But yeah, um, just to go through my personal votes, um, the Finchinator column, of course, I voted for Dracovish and Galarian Demanitan to be Uber. Um, my, my, I'm going to give my reasoning on all of them as well. As for Dull Iron Germanitan, I think it's really fun, but the issue is it devolves every single game into a guessing game. If you guess wrong, move it locks into, you're always going to end up losing a Pokemon in the long haul, and it's not hard to get in with things like Teleport and Defog being so widely distributed right now, not to mention Slow Volt, Switch, Slow U-Turn, etc. And I don't love that it devolves into a guessing game, especially if you don't use one of like two or three Pokemon like Milotic or, um, I guess Jostin, but even that gets destroyed by Earthquake. Um, it's just not worth it. That metagame between Dynamax being banned and Darmanitan being banned, quick banned, is just ridiculous. And all in all, I don't view Darmanitan Galar with Grill Tactics as a very competitive Pokemon. Um, so yeah, next up is Dracovish. Unfortunately, um, I also voted Uber on Dracovish. I just fish his rend, spamming that one move and basically forcing things like Seismitoad or Physical Defensive Rocky on Ferrothorn or uh, Baneful Bunker, Physical Defensive Toxic. It just wasn't great. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick and tired of seeing Toxics on every frame team. Um, thankfully, it's kind of went away over the last couple of weeks, but now even more reason for it to go away because there's no Drakefish forcing it, so I think that's a good thing. Um, I voted OU in the next four Pokemon, Kieran Black, Melmetal, Magirna, and Cinderace. Kieran Black um, was mainly a vote based on principle. I feel as if um, it didn't see enough time in the metagame, and while we didn't have time to free it prior to this, um, definitely I think now is a good chance when there's a ton of new potential counterplay in the metagame. It only really saw it here for all of a day or two, so it goes without saying that I was all for inclusion. Um, I do want to note that this was actually the most controversial of the bunch. Three people, Lax, Open Kicks, and Flame Vitini, all very respectable players, smart individuals, and people that I consider friends that are in the council, all voted Uber, and I completely understand why. Some others were a bit on the fence. This was absolutely the closest of the bunch, and honestly, we might have had this out yesterday, if not for our discussion on Karen Black, which is completely understandable. We still got it in well before DLC's release, so yeah. Um, there's also Melmetal, which I voted OU on in the suspect, and I still believe would have been balanced in the prior metagame, but definitely was voting for OU here, and that was unanimous besides Lopin the Kicks. And then Magirna and Cinderace, two Pokemon recently got banned, but, I mean, the former took a suspect in the latter, and it would have been suspected had, you know, timing worked out, but then it got retested. So, yeah, neither of these Pokemon were like, oh my god, ridiculously broken, like, Dracovish and Darmanitan Galar. Therefore, the, um, unanimous OU votes on both of them are not surprising, as there's so many new variables in the metagame that it wouldn't be fair to start them off in Uber. 
Um, one could argue that the concept of starting something off in Uber and then retesting it would be fair. And I wasn't like vehemently opposed to that, but I kind of like the chaotic OU where you can just weed out the obviously broken stuff and let it settle is a bit better for, you know, letting the non-broken Pokemon settle into their places in the metagame as well, as opposed to consistently dealing with new Pokemon being integrated into the tier. So I, I like our approach, but I completely understand people are philosophically um, philosophically in a different place. I think that's entirely fair. I also do want to note that I know you guys cannot see the um, Flaming Victini and X-Ray columns. And I am sorry about that, but I will read out their votes. Um, Lemon Victini voted Uber on Darm, Dracovish, Trem Black, and then Uber on um, Dynamax slash Gigantamax, Shadow Tag, Arena Trap, and Moody. And X-Ray, um, all of the same votes as him, actually, but he voted OU and Trem Black. Yeah, and then they all voted OU on the Pokemon to come later on. So I just want to say sorry about that. My cropping wasn't great, but I need to make this video quickly because they're in the middle of the first game of the World Series. And... I promise you guys I'd get up two really important videos, and this is one of them, so yeah, but I do want to note that Flame 15 and X-Ray did participate in this test, and they're, again, very valuable members of the council that I look forward to working with even more in the future, so yeah. Um, and then again, to get into Dyman Dy Dynamax, sorry, not Dyman, Dan, and Gigantamax, Shadow Tag, Green Trap, and Moody, all four of them will be remaining Uber. I voted Uber on all four, just to give my, again, my justification. Um, Dynamax and Gigantamax are just inherently uncompetitive um, in singles metagames. Uh, I feel as if the timing element of it made it so it's kind of guesswork. The offensive buffs, uh, the offensive improvements, if you will, that they gave uh, led to very um, snowball-y kind of games oftentimes. And the defensive, you know, abilities that they also allowed made it so that defensive counterplay was enhanced to an uncompetitive uh, level as well, in my opinion. So, yeah, it just goes without saying. It was probably the most obvious vote of the bunch, alongside Shadow Tag and Arena Trap, abilities that are just inherently uncompetitive, alongside Moody, which is just, it's Moody. It's complete cheese, so... Yeah, no, I think that was kind of obvious. I voted OU on Feramosa, Naga Blaziken, Zygarde, Landorus Eye, and Genesect. Um, Feramosa, probably going to be broken, but I think it's going to be interesting to see how it functions without Z-moves. Heavy Duty Boots with U-Turn could go a long way for it. Corvid Dance sets could be cool, but every single set is walled by something or other. It does have coverage moves like Ice Beam, Drill Run, and Poison Jab that can help hit things like Landorus, Landorus T, um... I think a Poison Jab hits Fairy types like Tapu Koko and Clefable, and Drill Run hits Tox Specs and also, um, I guess, some other Pokemon as well, some other Poisons. Yeah, no. So, I, I respect I think that Feramosa will ultimately end up doing good, but I think it was like close enough for call to say, okay, we'll start it. Not going to Dell was probably the one I was most on the fence about, about these six, in all honesty, alongside Genesect. But last generation, it almost directly used Z moves. And also, the fact that there are some new kind of soft checks to it. And things like teleport into like potential Scarfer can go a long way. Priorities out there, and the initial metagame can be really fast and it's super frail. I think that that might actually play against Naganadel, and therefore I was like, okay, I'll vote OU. And actually, it was unanimous on both Fermosa and Naganadel and next Pokemon Blaziken, who I've been championing. Let's free it because there are no more Z moves, no more Mega. So why the hell not give it a chance? And we're getting our opportunity. Blaziken and OU now. Zygarde is another Pokemon that is going to be starting in OU. Only Lopini kicks voted Uber on both it and Landorus I. Otherwise, it was unanimous. I believe that Zygarde was really, really good to the point where it was broken last generation. But even that, it took like a couple years for it to truly be broken. And it wasn't like super unanimous. So I'm happy to see it getting another chance here. It wasn't like one of those most lopsided obvious things. And Landorus I has been more one lopsided obvious. But Metagame is going to be super fast. And yeah, I think that alongside Nagano Dell is probably the most likely to be broken. Um, maybe in Genesect, but I'm willing to give it a try here. And last but not least, Genesect. It just always finds a way to be broken. Again, it feels like there are more checks and counters to it. I mean, a lot of defensive fire types like Rotom Heat, seeing a ton of usage. Tran's going to be around in, on almost every team, honestly, I feel like, at this rate. Between the ground steps and Genesect and, you know, even Nagano Dell, I guess. Uh, uh, plenty of things opening up for it. It's going to be common, so that might help it, but eventually it might be broken. We'll have to wait and see. But, um, yeah, no, I voted for that OU, and that was unanimous, so... Ultimately, Kieran Black, Melmetal, Cinderace will all be dropping from Uber to OU. And Feramosa, Naganadel, Blaziken, Zygarde, Landorus Eye, and Genesect will all start in OU instead of Ubers. In addition, Tapus and the um, Genies, i.e. Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus plus Dertharian forms will all start OU as well. And any other Pokemon that we haven't mentioned, such as the Ultra Beasts like Kamatana and Guzzlord and Nihilego and so on and so forth, will also be... Um, and Stakataka, I'm probably missing something, but we'll also be um, starting at OU as well. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys are excited for the new metagame. It's going to be a ton of new toys. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. And I'm super excited for this metagame to play out. All right, guys, have a great day, and peace out.